That was the end, right? Nope. Bonus. I did it last time, so I'm doing it again. This time we're doing the training room. The training room, there's not much changed. Says this. Um, Odell or whatever, I forgot her name. Begin by putting on your vest She's and replaced with um, find Barney, in the next room. which is pretty funny. Whenever you see one of these buttons, hold on a second. Okay. Or show you how things are done. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. Yep. These instead of cup, instead of you know, usually there'd be an HGV right here. Your when your armor so we get the armor. Too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Moving around in your armor may be a little Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. It's nice how they did this section of, you know, fitting with the blue shift. Even though not much has changed. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all If you can't jump over these pipes, then you can't be hired. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be hurt. I don't know why um, this is part of training, but it is. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. You were looking like to the side, so of course you didn't notice me. Now try to Easy. I should have let him finish his model work. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to duck in the tight areas. Thanks, Marnie. Nice work. Pretty easy. You know, I wonder how um, uncomfortable Walk it is. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Few times, just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine. These jumps are pretty easy. To start the lift, walk up the button and press the button. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the right off the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in your next day. Yep, you, you, might have, you, you might have broke your legs, but we're going to heal it for you. With small medkits. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health, or until the kit is completed. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations, such as this one, throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. That's a shame. And people with uh, freaking vests that um, Shepard has. Deeper. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job. Pretty easy. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. <laughs> I didn't even jump it. All you need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, just pull you might it. try pulling it. 
To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. It's driven a roach. Another one. Through the boxes. I also want to know why this isn't trading. Why are they treating us to go through um freaking duck dogs? You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. I don't really need to actually use it. Makes it a tiny bit easier. Oh gosh. Makes it a tiny bit easier, but it's, it's not difficult. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. It's pretty dandy. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Time Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to fire. Sorry, I just had some fun. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score again. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. Hmm. Don't think I did that many times. <laughs> use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in five, four, three, two, one. Don't hear you. Oh. display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. Okay. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to prepare. Well, drum it up. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the what? What was it again? Nothing. He just sh like shush right as I went to the next area. Roach. Oh! Oh my gosh! Good thing we had full armor. If you pass through fire, the damage icons come up in your heads up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Okay. There was no like radiation within the game besides chemicals. Said that like one chemical part. Why do you expose your your clients to freaking? Why do you expose your your uh, employees to freaking radiation during your training? That, that, that's that's how to kill them. That's how you kill them. These guys aren't really like their, uh. Oh, there goes my weapons. Lead a scientist into the next room. Yes, he will I will follow you if you wish. Okay, 
can't shoot you guys because I got no weapons. But if we did have weapons, um, I believe we could um, sit like if we killed someone, it would set this off. Then you know, that's not fun. So let's Press just your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. We don't even Press use this within the campaign. A second time to disengage from the train. We don't even use this within the game, but you know. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Unit for security. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Yay! If you get like exposed radiation and don't die, I guess you're worthy. Well, now I'm gonna show you what's in that secret box. All right. Here we are at the secret box. So, what we do is just we just spin our ammo on it. Frog, and um, I can't pick up this armor because I actually started the map from here. Which is a cute little frog, a little cute little drum toad, which is from the alpha. If you don't know, it, it's pretty nice. I'm surprised it hasn't got caught, and I'm surprised it got breathing that thing. And by the way, a little secret behind this um, little stall right here, and it's also in a vent, I believe. Um, but, yeah. So, um, that's what I can show you of Half-Life, uh, Blue Shift. Thank you for watching this bonus.